at defense, number eight, Matt Corrado. At defense, number 12, Dante Rafa. At left wing, number five, Wayne Satolo. At center, number 19, Rob Stoika. At right wing, number 17, Corey Rupo. And now for the starting lineups, here are some of the Highlanders. Some of those coach are Mr. Kevin Wilson. At the fence, number three, Roland Roosh. At the fence, number seven, Chris. edition of Varsity Sports here on Educational Channel 15. Tonight, our Highlander hockey season continues. Our Highlanders on a three-game undefeated streak. They're in another revenge game. They, their foe tonight, Revere. Revere coming in with a record of seven wins, four losses, and one tie. They beat the Highlanders by a score of 4-3 to three on January 3rd. Our Highlanders, record, four wins, eight losses, one tie. Do not forget the three-game undefeated streak they're on. They are a different team now. They're hot. Watch out, Revere. Joe Constantine on the camera and directing. My name is Tim Cronin, and welcome to Highlander Hockey. And now the draw. Our Highlanders dressed just like the old New York Rangers, red trunks, white jerseys with the red and blue trim. Revere dressed in all navy blue. And we will see now if the Highlanders can continue their run here. Right away though, Revere scores a number 17, Corey Rufo, with the goal, but that's just a situation. You cannot turn the puck over in your own end. You cannot do that. You can't turn it over in front of your goal. And unfortunately for goaltender Ryan Vogel, he pretty much had no chance there. Rufo went top shelf, and that was right after the turnover. Very, very tough on a goaltender. 20 seconds into the game. So the Highlanders, as I was saying, they have to continue to play the way they've been playing, not the start they want right now. We will see if the Highlanders can buckle down now and get right going. Number 13 defensively, Dylan's racket. And Revere setting things up again. Shot on net, knocked away by Ryan. Revere right away trying to establish themselves here at Veterans Memorial Arena here at Conway Park on Somerville Ave. Derek Doan, number 18, centering Jeremy Proctor. And number five, Craig Resmini. Highlanders need to get the puck out of the zone here. Revere has just come out flying right off the opening faceoff. Our Highlanders really need to buckle down here. And there's another centering pass. That was Rufo again trying to center his man for Revere. Right now, all Revere in the first minute and a half. Three 15 minutes periods are played in Massachusetts high school hockey. You have to play 45 minutes. That's what coaches Kevin Wilson and Billy McDonald have been trying to teach the boys. 
a rough, rough start here, and we will see about the character of this team, if they can fight back from that. Right now, again, off the faceoff, Revere on the attack. This Revere team, they obviously have a winning record, seven wins, four losses, and one tie. They have MIAA State Tournament aspirations. And the Highlanders would like to knock them closer to 500 with a revenge win tonight. Aiden O'Donovan, number 15, an eighth grader. O'Donovan, four goals on the season and four assists. An eighth grader. And now the Derek Doan line out again with Craig and Jeremy on defense. Dylan's racket and Joe Keery win the faceoff is the first order of business. Nice job there, Derek, on the draw. Highlanders have got to get this goal back. This line has been hot lately, the Derek Doan line. Very good forechecking line, but now Revere on the attack here. Centering pass, not able to get the backhand off. Was number five of Revere, Rick Sintolo. This Jeremy Proctor wrist shot save made by Trevor Restino. Back and forth action now, Revere coming. And how about the move by number 10, defended well. Number 10 for Revere, Mark Giordano. And I am told that he is a really good player for Revere. Zone is cleared, Revere restarting here. Joe Keery. He receives help from Dylan Zracket, and Zracket unfortunately put the puck up in the netting. Therefore, this draw will take place to the left of Ryan Vogel in net. So the Highlanders are going to have to defend here. Austin Pacheco on the draw for the Highlanders. This is the line, Chris Sousa number 10, Austin Pacheco number two, and of course, Aiden O'Donovan. And I think we have a tripping call here. So off to the penalty box will be number 24, Zach Rufo. So a power play here for the Highlanders. Opportunity knocking. During the time out there, we just saw number nine of Revere, Mike Garoshko, head to the locker room. He is their star player. He wears jersey number nine. He just walked into the locker room. I'm not sure if, it, if it's an injury situation or if it's an equipment fix, but he is in the locker room right now. So Revere, without their star, and the Highlanders on the power play here. They need to put the puck in the net. Chris Sousa now. Wrist shot, save made by Restino. Chris Sousa again, works it out to Aiden. Nolan Roach at the point, working with Aiden again. 
Nolan, wrist shot. DeSouza turnaround, just missed the goal. And with the net moved, we'll have a face off. And I'm just trying to watch the locker room of Revere to see if. Looks like Mike Orozco is back. Austin Pacheco now on the draw. There are 56 seconds left on the Highlander power play here. Wrist shot save made, Ryan Vogel short-handed. What a lightning wrist shot that was. Junior. Junior Rick Santolo, number five on the wrist shot. And clearing is Revere. We're down to 27 seconds to go on the Highlander power play. Cannot give it to the other team, guys. There's a wrist shot, Sintolo again. He has a rocket for a wrist shot. Now Chris D'Souza. Austin Pacheco on the rush here. Cross ice pass, wrist shot, wide of the net. Both teams now at full strength. Receiving here is Garasco, nice move. And save made by Ryan Vogel. Nice job in net, Ryan. Number 10 at the point, Mike Giordano and Ryan able to cover up. So a face-off will now ensue. 9.05 to go here in the first period. Derek Doan on the draw. Jeremy tried to clear. Now Revere trying to work over the Highlanders in their own end here. Derek Doan, nice job. Revere again. Save made, Ryan Vogel on the wrist shot. The Highlanders have got to slow down this Revere team. Nice work here. Nick Cicerone, nice rush, Nick. Dylan's racket, keeping the puck in the Revere end. This is Garasco now, he tried to clear. He finds his man, number 15, Mike Giordano. He centers the puck, no one home. The Highlanders have got to slow this team down. This Revere team, fast on their skates. Nice pass, and the save made by Ryan. Again, Revere going to work right off the draw here. Nolan Roach, he gets it to Aiden. But again, Revere pressuring this team. Puck flipped around the boards and Revere moves the puck quite well. Here's Austin now. He will clear through. Revere with the restart. We have an offside call, excuse me. Delayed whistle there. So, the Highlanders again, they have got to find a way to slow this Revere team down. They're down 1-0. 7.24 to go, first period. Chris Bonney clears, and I think this is going to be icing. 
So we will have a draw in the Highlander end. And it looks like the face-off is in the Revere end here. I thought it was an icing call. Derek Doan on the draw. Puck is cleared by Revere. Number nine again, Garasco, making things very difficult for the Highlanders here. Nolan Roach finding Jeremy Proctor. Nolan. And Garoshko lifts that puck in. Ryan Vogel making the stop. Austin now on the break. Chris to Sousa. Makes his move. Wrist shot, Nolan. Loose puck in front of the net. Here's Austin, wrist shot, just wide, my goodness. And now Revere on the attack here. Mike Giordano, he lost control of the puck. Now, Derek Doan and the Highlanders trying to turn things around here. Here's Austin. The Highlanders, I think they've gotten used to this Revere speed now. And just maybe now they can play with them. Shot save made. We have 11 seconds to go on the Highlander power play here. Cicerone on the draw. And now we have another man on the draw and into the game now. Josh Amaral. Five seconds left on the Highlander power play. draw all the way back in the Highlander end so another power play and the Highlanders not able to capitalize and you have to look like this Nick Cicerone line with Josh Amaral and Cam Carrero. They played a very strong game the other day against Everett. Now Revere on the attack again. Sintolo is there. Wrist shot is blocked. Turnaround. Backhand just wide. Cam Carrero now. Trying to get through his man. Revere not allowing that. And poor Cam Carrero paid the price for trying to sneak through two Revere players. And it looks like a penalty is called on number 19 of Revere, Robert Stoika. We'll take the penalty, but I'm not sure that that was a real infraction. 
all Cam did was trying to go through two players and he was kind of sandwiched there. But the referee quick with the whistle, so another power play for the Highlanders. And they have got to try to capitalize here. Austin Pacheco centering. Chris Sousa, Aiden O'Donovan defensively. Nolan Roach and Chris Bonney, number seven. And Revere now, shorthanded bid here. And the Highlanders defend. They've got to get this power play going. Both teams, however, still skating. Five on five. Clearing the puck is Revere. We're under four minutes to go, first period. 1-0, and the icing will be called there. Austin Pacheco, can the Highlanders tie this game before the period ends? Minimally, that's what we would love to see happen. Slap shot, Chris Bonney blocked, and now a whistle from the official. Three forty-three to go, first period. Austin on the draw. Highlanders need to keep pressuring here. Oh my goodness, what a move there. Number 15 of Revere, Mike Giordano. But coming up big is our goaltender again, Ryan Vogel. Good job, Ryan. That would have hurt. Next goal, huge here in this game. The Highlanders need to have it. Derek Doan on the draw. Nolan. And again, more pressure from Revere. Craig Resmini. Puck played in by Jeremy. Chris Bonney there able to keep the puck in the Revere end. We're under three minutes to go in this first period. Educational Channel 15, proud to bring you Varsity Sports. Nolan centering pass to Craig, and that is covered up by Restino. And we have a penalty called on Revere here. And I'm not sure about the officiating here at all in this first period. Some very weird calls throughout the period. And that young man for Revere will go to the penalty box. So a power play for the Highlanders. There are, are two minutes and 26 seconds to go in this period. And a two minute 
advantage of that time remaining for the Highlanders here. Wrist shot by Krista Sousa. Save made Restino. And almost scoring immediately. The start of the power play there. Austin Pacheco now. Chris. Austin drives it in. Get on that puck, Aiden. Here's Austin. He'll play it back to Chris Sousa. Nolan now from the point. Slap shot is deflected wide. We would love to see the Highlanders score here and tie this game. Loose puck. Sousa backhand. Save made, Restino. However, who is there to put the puck in the net? Aiden O'Donovan, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, it was Aiden. One, one. So now the Highlanders able to score on the power play. We have a whole new game. I said the next goal was huge. A big, big difference between a score of one to one and two to zero. So the Highlanders are back in business with 1.35 to go first period. And Educational Channel 15 is here to bring you this exciting action. This hockey team now is hot. Things are all even here at Veterans Memorial Arena here at Conway Park. Derek Doan on the draw. Good job there by Jeremy on the forecheck. Dylan. We will take that power play goal. I didn't think it was, well, I didn't think that the referee should have called a penalty on the Revere player there, but we got kind of a gift, and we will take the 1-1 tie at this point. There are now 53 seconds to go here in the first period, and now we have a whistle. Let's see if we can take that gift and make this a real game. The Highlanders have to keep playing for the remaining two periods plus the 50 seconds left here. Austin Pacheco on the draw. Puck played back to Joe Keery. Chris, he'll set things up now. Nolan Roach, slap shot save made. Another save made. Wow, and how about the goaltending by Trevor Restino of Revere? 30 seconds to go in the first period. And with that whistle, we will have a face off. Huge face-off here in the closing seconds of the first period. And right now, Revere trying to go to work. Now, Chris Sousa on the attack here of the Highlanders. And he is forechecked very well. Revere clears. Ten seconds to go in the period. So after a slow start for the Highlanders, they were able to fight back. And this first period ends with a 1-1 score. Educational Channel 15 here to bring you the final two periods. It was a terribly officiated first period in my opinion. And the Highlanders have fought back from being down 1-0 in the opening seconds of the first period. Toward the end of the first period, they were able to tie this game. They were lucky. Terrible call by the referee. But the Highlanders, to their credit, took advantage. So now, 1-1.
and we want the players here to settle this thing on the ice. The Highlanders, they want to stay in contention to have a shot at qualifying for the tournament at 4-8-1 and one, every single hockey game from here on in is vital. Their effort and their minds have to be well, certainly have to be coinciding with each other. Austin Pacheco on the draw. I was told that the coaches were not happy with the effort of the first period for the Highlanders. A nice between period speech. And we'll see now if the Highlanders can score the next goal in this game. Wrist shot. Save made Ristino. And what do we have now? And it looks like we have a penalty here. So the Highlanders on another power play. Number three of Revere. His name is Cam Maza. And he will serve time in the penalty box. So the Highlanders here, opportunity now with a five on three for seven seconds. Here's the wrist shot, Joe Keery just wide. Now the five on four, player for Revere returns. Oh, shorthanded bid here. Number 10, Mark Giordano. And some of the, ref excuse me, some of the Revere fans wanted a penalty call there. They thought he was hooked. Giordano will place the puck back into the Highlander end. Giordano again. So shorthanded, looking impressive, is Revere here. The Highlanders are gonna have to pick things up. They, they do have the man advantage, excuse me. Giordano again, number 10 of Revere. And there is the delayed call. So now things will be evened up. And Joe Keery will head to the penalty box. Excuse me, Nolan Roach. Even strength, four on four here. 43 seconds to go on the Revere penalty, so they'll have some power play time here. Total of a minute 17, to be exact. Misfire there. And the Highlanders, they have to kill this penalty right now. Right now, they just need to get the puck out of their end. Mind you, it is still four on four for the moment, and Revere putting on all kinds of pressure. Nice job there by Derek Doan. He'll clear through. However, I believe no icing. Very surprising. Thought the icing would be called. Some of the Revere fans thought so too. There's a wrist shot save made by Ryan Vogel. And that was Mike Garosko, number nine, the star for Revere. So Revere now, they will have their power play. There's 64 seconds to go on their power play. The Highlanders have to kill this. Nice pass there, but 
Nothing doing for Revere. Craig Resmini, nice four check. Nice job there, Aiden O'Donovan. Slowing down the Revere power play are the Highlanders. Now we're down to a half a minute to go. Nice job, Aiden, again. Oh, boy. And we have another call, and I, I really do believe these officials are just absolutely awful. That did not look like much of a penalty, but we'll take it. Things are now evened up here, or do we have something else? And is that Craig Resmini also being cited? And you just can't do that. So this will be a five on three advantage. Excuse me, where is the Highlander? Wow, here we go. I knew I wasn't incorrect on this. I was seeing three people on the ice for the Highlanders. Now they have their fourth. So a five on four. Power play for Revere. Joe Keery wraps it around, Chris D'Souza, and I really have to agree with the Revere fans here. The officiating this evening is just atrocious. Austin Pacheco trying to clear, he does. Now both teams at full strength. While we have a man for each team serving time in the box. Dylan's racket. Nice job, Dylan. Aiden, Austin, nice pass. Chris DeSus is there. He just couldn't get the shot, my goodness. Nice passing, boys. Nice pressure by the Highlanders. And now Revere clears through. Action-packed game. The boys are playing well for both teams. I wish the referees would improve their efforts. That was offside on Revere, so we'll have a face-off in the neutral zone. 9.51 to go here in the second period. Again, Educational Channel 15 here to bring you this action. Nolan Roach here losing his edge on his skate. There's Nick Cicerone trying to get it to Jeremy Proctor. Nice job, Jeremy, slowing his man down. Nick Cicerone doing some nice work. Now Revere gets things going, and we have an offside on Revere. So that'll come back. That will come back, I should say. Face off in the neutral zone. Big line here for Revere. Mike Garashko, Mark Giordano, and number 15, Mike Giordano, his brother. Jeremy Proctor, Derek Doan for the Highlanders. And of course, number nine. Nick Cicerone. Nine minutes to go, second period. Back and forth action. Nice clear by Derek. Restart for the Highlanders. Nolan, Jeremy, and again Revere swarming right now. 
is Garasco trying to go to work. Mike Garasco of Revere. Nice job defending there by Chris Bonney. Oh, nice move backhand there. Giordano. Puck is cleared. Nick Ciceroni has Jeremy. Centering pass. Save made. R Ristino. Shift change for both teams. 8.07 to go, second period. Puck has moved around. And the Highlanders trying to set things up here in the Revere end. And they are able to clear. And now they're on the attack. Nice pass. Beautiful job passing. They ran out of real estate there on their rush. Nice job defending by the Highlanders. Austin clears through. Chris Seuss is there. Dylan's racket. Joe Keery. Here's Aiden. Revere again. Backhand save made Ryan, and he will glove that again. Face off in the Highlander end. Shift change for both teams. Number 18, Derek Doan on the draw. Back and forth, second period. Very fast paced, a lot of good skating. Jeremy Proctor now. Both teams very evenly matched. Oh my goodness, and Ryan Vogel, thank goodness for the reflexes he has. He was able to squash that centering pass. And that could have deflected into the goal. That was very close. Nice save, Ryan. Puck is cleared. Jeremy Proctor in a race. He'll get there first. Rishot save made by Trevor Ristino. And again, back and forth, both teams. Here's Derek Doan. Looks like Derek Doan has really improved on his skating in this last year. And now Revere again. They have come calling. Nice job, Ryan. Great pace here in the second period. Both teams back and forth. Garasco, number nine, being guarded there by Nolan Roach. Nice job, Nolan, defensively. Puck is cleared through. Josh Amaral, Nick Cicerone. Ristino able to knock that down. The Highlanders. Full press here. 
can see number eight, Matthew Nicholas. Nice hustle, Matthew. Puck is played around. Good job by this line. Cicerone, Nicholas, and Amaral. Dylan's racket, and he will take that hand pass. And the Highlanders will pay for that here. They'll play is stopped, and we're going to have a face-off all the way back in the Highlander end. You just can't slap at the puck like that to try to get it to a teammate. Referee will call that every time. 4.48 to go, second period. And now Revere, wrist shot, save made. Ryan Vogel. Thank goodness again, Ryan. Number 19 for Revere on the draw again, Robert Stoika. He's very good at the faceoffs. He wins another one here. Wrist shot wide. And now Revere trying to squeeze the Highlanders in their end. Joe Keery doing battle. He has Austin Pacheco, Aiden. Puck is cleared through. Austin now. Chris Sousa, And now Revere on the rush. Joe Keery guards his man. Nice job defensively, Joe. And again, I, I keep repeating myself here, but it's worth repeating. Back and forth action by both teams. What a pace. We have an offside. That's why the draw is coming back. two-line pass. So now Austin Pacheco on the face-off here. This, this Revere team very good at face-offs. Nolan Roach drives that puck into the Revere end. Centering pass there, and the shot. Ryan Vogel with the save. What a save, and Revere still there. And Ryan again gloves that puck. Wow. Offensive flurry coming from Revere. Three twenty-nine to go, first period. Now Revere, trying to squeeze the Highlanders here. Nolan, he finds Craig Resmini. Craig dumps the puck in the Revere end. Battle on the boards. We play on. Derek to the point. Nolan Roach wrist shot. Derek is there. And again, I have to cite the skating ability of Derek Doan this year. Again, he's really improved at uh, one of those bright spots for the Highlanders. Much improvement. 2.33 to go second period. On the draw for the Highlanders, Austin Pacheco. Nice job, Austin, there. Let's see if the Highlanders can attack the goal here, Austin. He'll feed Joe Keery. Joe Keery wraps it around the boards. Chris Sousa, next goal again. Very, very big here. Vital for both teams. Now Revere, 
Uh-oh. And it looks like Joe Keery's going to get called here. And I think he put his man into the boards with a little bit too much gusto. And this is a power play for Revere. I hate the call. Even that, I think, is a little bit embellished there. Now shorthanded are the Highlanders. We have exactly two minutes to go in the second period. And of course, that's how long this minor penalty is. So a power play for Revere to finish the second period. And the Highlanders, nice start there. Nice job, Chris. They have to kill this period right now, this penalty. Nice job again, Austin Pacheco. And Revere not communicating there. 1.30 to go. And the Highlanders' goal here is to kill this penalty so that they go into the intermission with a tie. However, Jeremy Proctor, wrist shot, save made. Rosito was hoping he'd cross the puck to Derek there. Nice job, penalty killing by the Highlanders. Derek Doan again, nice job. He dumps it back in under a minute to go. Can we kill this power play of Revere? And now Revere f finally on the attack here. And a nice job defensively by the Highlanders. Forty-three seconds to go here in the second period, and the Highlanders, nice job clearing, thwarting the power play here. However, 36 seconds to go here. You have to stop them for the rest of this penalty and this period. On the attack, Revere now. Wrist shot save made, Ryan, and he covers up his own rebound. Beautiful goaltending, Ryan Vogel. 26 seconds to go. And the Highlanders off the faceoff clear again. Now down to 20 seconds to go in the period and on the power play. 13 seconds. Missed pass there for Revere. Under 10 seconds. And we have an icing call which will bring the draw all the way back into the Revere side. Seven seconds to go in the period and on the power play. And now on the attack, Revere, one second left, and that will do it. However, I think we have a penalty here on Nolan Roach to end the period. So I believe Revere will start the third period with a power play. Oh my goodness. Wow. Not the way you want to go into the third period in a tie game. So we will be shorthanded. Well, to start the third period now, as I mentioned, the Highlanders have to kill another power play here for Revere. And they have got to do this. We're in the third period. It's a 1-1 hockey game. The Highlanders need to set the tone by making this penalty go away. They have to kill it for two minutes. 1-1 one, one is the score. Uh, I thought it was a horrible call by the official also. There have been bad calls against both teams here. So at least it's been called evenly that way. But right now, the Highlanders on the short end. And clearing is Chris D'Souza. So the first minute 
of the Revere power play is now gone. Nice job, Derek Doan, on the forecheck there. And here comes Mike Garashko, number nine, trying to set things up here for Revere. Jeremy Proctor able to clear. Oh, what a steal by Jeremy here. Miss pass by number eight for Revere. Matt Cravada and the Highlanders again doing a great job. Number eight. Or I should say number 18 for the Highlanders again. Derek Doan working hard tonight. This is one of the one of the best hockey games I've seen him play. Jeremy clearing through. One second left, and now both teams are at full strength. Great job, Highlanders killing the penalty. Now, it's five on five. Revere now. Nice passing. Both teams impressive defensively and offensively. Puck is cleared and that is icing. So the faceoff will come back in the Revere end. Krista Sousa on the faceoff, just shooting that puck in. There's Austin Pacheco wrapping it around. Nolan, wrist shot, deflected wide. Here's Aiden. He'll tap it back behind the goal. Nice job, Highlanders here. Revere kind of standing around. Let's see if the Highlanders can take advantage of this. Here's Nolan. Aiden with the restart. Chris Bonney. Chris D'Souza. Nolan. Chris Bonney again. Nice passing, boys. Austin. He'll wheel around. He's forechecked well. And again, the Highlanders pressing this Revere team. This group for Revere doing a lot of standing in their own end. And the Highlanders need to take advantage. Let's get a quality shot on goal, boys. 11.20 to go. And again, Revere still struggling. Chris Sousa. And Revere finally getting it out of their end. Here's Nolan. Shift change for Revere. Nice passing there. And Ryan Vogel with the save. Nice job, Ryan. Under 11 minutes to go in this tie game. And the Highlanders at four wins, eight losses, and one tie. I mentioned earlier in the broadcast that, that they are worried about qualification and staying in contention for that. They need a win tonight. They need to knock off this Revere team. Again, on January 3rd, Revere beat them by a goal, 4-3. to three, And the Highlanders want that back. And they can do it right now. Chris Sousa. Nice pass, Jeremy, wrist shot, save made by Trevor Restino of Revere. Nice offensive attack, nice centering pass by Chris Sousa to Jeremy Proctor there. 10-22 to go in this game. And the Revere coach beside himself imploring his team to pick up their play as they have been a little bit slower than the second period to open up this third period. They had a power play also. Dylan's racket 
Restarting, uh-oh. Garasco with the move. Oh my goodness, a trickling puck. Again, I, I will say it, you cannot turn the puck over in your own end. That's how Revered was able to score to start the game. Garasco again, Vogel in goal for the Highlanders, great work. Now Revere pressuring, slap shot, loose puck, save made, Ryan Vogel. Oh my goodness, Jeremy now, he has Craig Rasmini with him. Wrist shot, save made, is it a goal? And it is a goal for the Highlanders, wrist shot and scored, wow. Jeremy Proctor on the goal. Two to one, Highlanders. And Revere doesn't like it. But that was a goal for the Highlanders. Two to one is the score. Nine minutes and 24 seconds to go here in the game. It's a lifetime. The Highlanders have to keep playing. They're going to have to earn this game. If they want to take home the victory tonight, they have to earn it. They have nine minutes plus to do it. Chris Sousa now. He tried to center the puck. Austin. Nolan. Austin again. Nice job passing, guys. Revere continues to stand around a little bit in their own end. Trying to clear. Nice forecheck by Aiden O'Donovan. Nice job, Highlanders. Still making things difficult for Revere in their own end. And number 10 here for Revere, holding the puck too long. Mark Giordano, and you hold the puck that long with all the stick handling, you're gonna lose it after a while. Wrist shot wide. We are down to eight minutes to go in this game. Nolan now. Highlanders clear, no icing. And the cover up by Ristino. Face off in the Revere end. racket. Craig Resmini tried to get a shot on goal. Jeremy Proctor, what a game he's played. He gave them a two to one lead a moment ago. Revere now on the attack. Ryan Vogel, glove save. 7.26 to go. Shot save made. Wrist shot came from number eight, Matt Cravata. Ryan Vogel right there. Glove save. Derek Doan on the draw, and again, Revere pressing the Highlanders. Joe Keery tried to find Jeremy there. He is hot on his skates. Number 27, Jeremy Proctor. He's a much better player than he was one year ago. Both teams trying to get control of the puck here and provide some offense for their teams. 
6.45 to go in this game. Dylan's racket keeping that puck in. Chris Sousa And can the Highlanders hustle out another win here? Can they go four straight games undefeated? Something that I would not have predicted earlier on in the season when they were two and eight. And we have a slashing call here. Number 17 of Revere is Corey Rufo. He has the goal for Revere, but now he will serve time in the penalty box. The Highlanders on a power play with six minutes and nine seconds to go in this game. If they can score in this power play, they would have that cushion lead late in the third period. Revere. Clearing. Garasco open for a pass. He is guarded nicely there. And the Highlanders need to get it going now. They are on the power play. Austin, wrist shot is deflected away. And Revere clears again. Joe Keery and the Highlanders unable to hook up on this power play thus far. Garasco's sh shot is wide. We're down to one minute to go on the Highlander power play and Revere doing a wonderful job killing the penalty. Five minutes to go in this hockey game. Here's Chris Sousa now. Wrist shot is deflected away. Revere clearing again. Garasco, wrist shot, save made. Ryan Vogel. Wow, what a stop by Ryan Vogel. The star for Revere was all alone on a breakaway and Ryan Vogel able to shut him down. We play on, and that was a shorthanded bid for Revere as the Highlanders unable to get things going on their power play here. You have to love what Ryan Vogel just did. Revere again on the attack. A lot of guys falling down out there for both teams. Uh-oh. No trip. We play on. Again, in the span of 10 seconds, I think I saw four players fall on the ice. Back and forth action. Obviously, both teams at full strength now. We have four minutes to go. And now Revere to tie the game. Wrist shot wide. My goodness. Can you play for three minutes and 50 seconds. Can you earn this win? 45 minutes of play. After being down 1-0 in the opening seconds. Craig Resmini shot wide. Dylan's racket keeping the puck in. Chris Sousa now to Austin. Nice move. Oh my goodness, he couldn't get a shot on goal. 3.20 to go in this game. Oh my goodness. I think Austin is down on the ice. Uh, I'm not sure if he was looking to draw a penalty, but it looks like he's okay. Come on, boy. Shoot the puck. Two to one is the score. The Highlanders have the lead. 3.18 to go. Can the Highlanders hold on here and dig out yet another win? The draw to the right of Restino, the goaltender for Revere. Austin Pacheco 
Number two for the Highlanders on the draw. We have a timeout called. So Coach Kevin Wilson calls a timeout here. Very interesting with 3.18 to go. We'll see what he's going to draw up here for the Highlanders. As I always say in every broadcast, you have to win the faceoff in these situations. Your coach called a timeout. Your coach designed a play for you. In order to make that play work, you have to win the draw. So a deep discussion here. Coach Kevin Wilson with his boys. Billy McDonald. Josh Wien back there. Troy Solnier. So here we go. Will it be Austin Pacheco on the draw here? You can see the conversation, Joe, that the boys are having. Number 10 and number 2. We'll see if he can win the faceoff here. 3.18 to go in this game. A one goal lead for the Highlanders. Can they get their revenge, exact their revenge on Revere? You have to finish this game. There's Aiden O'Donovan now. And Revere, nice job defensively, but the Highlanders keep the puck in the Revere end. Aiden trying to battle. There's Austin bothering his man, and Revere having all kinds of problems clearing their end. Stepping up there is Dylan, but Revere now on the break. Garasco, his wrist shot is deflected wide. We're down to 240 to go in this game. Chris Sousa now trying to get it to Austin. Now Austin Pacheco. We're at 230 to go. Two and a half minutes. Can the Highlanders do this? Puck is cleared. And how special would this be for the Highlanders to eke out a win here? Seven wins, four losses, and one tie for Revere. And the Highlanders might, might beat them here. As we approach the two-minute mark. So exactly two minutes to go here. Chris Sousa tried to shoot. Garasco, oh my goodness, and Revere looking sloppy. Dylan's racket, he'll dump that puck right into the Revere end. Derek Doan, nice job. 135 to go in this game. Nice defensive play, Dylan. Dylan's racket, number 13. Jeremy Proctor. Is Craig Resmini. He sends the puck in the Revere end. We're down to 115 to go. Revere clears in desperation, but they're down a goal. They need to do more than that. They just iced the puck there. Huge mistake. One minute and eight seconds to go. Face off all the way back in the Revere end. Sixty-eight seconds more here. And now it looks like Revere is called a timeout. So now Revere wants to talk about this. They have looked extremely sloppy over the last two minutes. And now, as we are ready for the final minute of play, exactly now, one minute to go, can the Highlanders hold off Revere? Wrist shot. Nice save, Ryan Vogel. Puck out front. Aiden will clear. 
48 seconds to go. And Garasco just dumps the puck in the Highlander end. And Revere not playing with that scent. Oh, a nice rush there by Revere. Chris Sousa. he will clear through. 20 seconds left. Open net just wide. The icing is called. Face off in the Highlander end. And there's, you either score or you ice the puck. That's, that was that situation there. So Revere has an opportunity because of the icing. 18 seconds left. Austin Pacheco, number two for the draw. Faceoff is huge right now. Who is going to win this faceoff? It could decide the game. Nice job, Austin. Nice job on the draw, Austin Pacheco. 12 seconds left. Wrist shot. Not sure if Ryan got a piece of it. Six seconds, five seconds. One last shot. And the save made by Ryan. Wow. Oh my goodness. A shot to tie the game. And Ryan Vogel makes the save. Wow. Just a face off now to decide it. And this will be Austin Pacheco again. And you saw Revere with the seconds ticking off. They were able to get the puck to the front of the net and a clear shot on goal. Save made Ryan Vogel. You're the hero right now, young man. The hero for tonight, Ryan Vogel right there. And that will do it. And the Highlanders win. The Highlanders are victorious. This is a four game streak for the Highlanders being undefeated. Their record improves to five wins, eight losses, and one tie. And the Highlanders now continue their role. Just an amazing effort. Wow. We saw how the game started with Revere scoring right away. But what a comeback. What character they have shown this Highlander hockey team, and they will celebrate tonight. This Saturday evening, they will continue things at 5 p.m. this coming Saturday. They host Swamscott here at Veterans Memorial Rink. Educational Channel 15 will bring you that action but our Highlanders on a roll. They are still alive in their attempt to qualify for the MIAA State Tournament. What a win here for the Highlanders. Joe Constantine, great job this evening. What a game you shot. My name is Tim Cronin, victory for the Highlanders.